Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Milan Art Institute Mastery Oil and Drawing Kit. So I want to start off with saying that there are two different Milan Art Mastery Drawing and Oil Kits. There is the full on mastery kit. And then there's the essentials kit is the essentials kit is only $276. The mastery kit, the full kit is actually $640. Okay. I know it sounds like a huge leap, but I do want to say first and foremost, I think both kits are good. I think both kits would get you started and going in the right direction, but I really do recommend getting the full mastery kit because it gets you more of the things you will need. And I think you'll see why it's worth it. And I know the number seems very scary at first, but it's worth it. Art supplies get really expensive. And I think Milan really offers these things in a way that is more affordable when you buy the full kit than when you go to the art store and try to collect all these items on your own from a list. So let's hop into all the things that you get with the mastery kit. So you get all of the different oil colors that you could possibly need. And what's great about Milan is that they offer the paints, um, first of all, tons of great colors, great quality, fantastic oil paints, highly recommend these. But not only do you get all these different great colors, you also get the labels on the paints of whether they are warm or cool, which is really important in the program. And you also get to know whether they are transparent or opaque. And the new, packaging for the paints are actually really cool and the warm and oil <laughs> the warm and transparent or opaque and cool is labeled much bigger in the older kits they're labeled like this where they're smaller but it's really exciting that they're already labeled for you and you don't have to go through the oil paints and label them yourselves like i said very important in the program warms and cools are like a pivotal part of the program so that's really great like I said, these paints are great quality. You get tons of paint. I'm already done with the oil and drawing portion of the program, and I've barely made a dent in any of these tubes. I'd say the biggest dent I've made is in one of my yellows, warm opaque cadmium yellow medium, and that's not even past halfway. So very great. Plenty of paint. You also get a giant... <laughs> you also get a giant white tube of paint, which is great because that'll last you forever. Oil paint goes a long way. So you're getting the, you're getting plenty of paint right here is all I'm saying. And you also get a ton of other great stuff in this kit. So you get all the brushes you would need to start out. You also get all the drawing supplies you might need and you get a proportion tool and a sketchbook. So, oh, and you also get mediums. I'm going to provide a list in the description of all the different things you get. Also, I'll provide the link to their website so you can also just see all these things listed out um, on their actual website. First, we're going to start off with the proportion tool. This thing is really, really neat. It is this like X shaped thingamajigger and there's a screw in the middle, right? And at first I was like, what the heck are we going to use that for? But this thing is a lifesaver. It's magic, pure magic. It helps you figure out how to measure proportions very, very quickly and very, very accurately. So what happens is you actually move the screw around either up or down, depending on the size of your picture. And then you use the bottom side to measure out the proportions of your reference photo. And then the bigger side will actually translate to your actual bigger drawing. This thing has been so helpful. And even if you don't get the kit or anything, buy this. You can buy this separately on the Milan art website and this will help you figure out proportions so fast. Another thing that is great that comes with this kit is the wipeout subtraction tool. I definitely suggest getting this even if you don't get the kit because this is a pivotal part of the program as well. Use this tool in many of the paintings and the techniques they teach in this first section of the program. As you can see, it's used to wipe out oil paint or acrylic paint and to sketch out your underpainting, basically. And it's a great tool, as you can see. Here's a spread of all the different things you get out of the kit. We'll start over here with the brushes. These are the brushes you get. They are kind of wonky because I have used them every almost every day for the whole drawing and oil painting section but these are fantastic brushes they are really cool because they're first of all super long which is what you want out of a paintbrush because in the program they actually teach you how to paint from far back and that gives you more 
leverage to paint more loosely. They also say Milan Mastery program on them, which I think is just really fun and cool and makes you feel like you're a part of something bigger than yourself, which I love. And like I said, the packaging is usually nice. They're fully long, black. The quality has been great. I've been painting with these for three or four months at this point, and they're still in great condition. They clean up very well, and they hold their shape, which you can tell, and that's something you really want. Oh, this one's... They hold their shape really well, which is something you want out of a brush. Sometimes I don't take the best care of them, and that's why this one's crunchy. The bristles aren't falling out. Everything you'd want out of a brush, these are doing for you. Something I want to mention real quick. If your brushes do get crunchy like that, you'll want to get some of this. This is not included in the kit, but the Brush Cleaner and Restorer from Windsor & Newton is a lifesaver for if your brushes do ever get crunchy on you, like that one brush was crunchy. You literally soak your brush for, I don't know, 30 minutes, and it's back to normal, and I wouldn't be able to survive without this stuff. So I highly recommend. So then we also have all of these different drawing materials that you get with the program. You get your graphite pencils, different hardnesses. Okay, so here are the pencils up close. They are really, really great quality pencils. As you can tell, they are uh, from Pacific Arc and you get all the different kinds, the HB, you know, soft to hard. And what I like about this set too is that they're colored in, you know, how dark the lead will be. So they start out super light, and then as they get darker, you can tell they get um, darker from just the gradation of the pencils, which makes drawing with them super easy because you know exactly what you're going to get from hard to soft leads. I will say that these pencils did not come in this container. This is actually a container that I've had previously that I actually just put these pencils into instead. These pencils come in, you know, just a plain cardboard packaging box, but I wanted to travel with them, so I put them in this container, but great quality pencils, love these. You get this eraser tool, which is awesome. It's just this little eraser, and it comes up and out like that, and then you also get these refills, which is fantastic, and I would say the quality of this is it's pretty good, but I didn't like the size or shape of it. It's kind of a weird shape. It's good for like if you're trying to erase out lines, but I don't know, other than that, I, I kind of struggled with it. So I ended up buying these two eraser bits instead. So they're the same idea as this one that comes with the kit. These do not come with the kit, but they have different shapes. So this one lets you erase bigger sections. And then this one lets you get more precise little circular bits. Whereas this one, I just didn't like the shape of it. So if that bothers you, there are other options. And then you also get a bunch of willow charcoal. And I actually didn't really break into this box much because you also get charcoal in this kit. And so, I don't know, charcoal goes a long way. So this is going to last me forever and ever and ever. Um, and it's more than enough to get you through the first section of the program, which I think is a fantastic deal. Like you get so much charcoal. This is the charcoal that I've used so far and like these little bits. And charcoal just it just lives forever which is fantastic so in this drawing kit you get this really nice set from i believe it's royal and lang nickel yes royal and lang nickel in this great little box too i've traveled with this box and it's a great little um traveling container and so you get your different compressed charcoal as well um you get your soft hard and medium which is fantastic you get two pieces of white charcoal you get the hard charcoal, compressed charcoal, also in pencil form. I will say the one bummer about this set is these pencils, for some reason, I wasn't even pressing that hardly, hardly, wasn't pressing that hard when I was drawing with them, and they snapped in half, which is such a bummer. <laughs> I don't know why they snapped. These ones also, this one also snapped on me. So that's kind of the one downside of this kit, is those snap for whatever reason. But they still work and draw just fine, so it's not really that big of a downfall if you ask me, because you still get all of this greatness. And then you get this little tool, which I never knew it was used for before, but you actually can clean off your little stumpies using the sandpaper. So this is actually used to clean off your stumps. And you do get a package of these stumps in different sizes and shapes which you can tell that I've used mine a lot. So that is a great addition. That helps you just smooth out any of your charcoal or graphite drawings to get a nice like gradient and smoothness. You also get these water-soluble graphite. These are really cool. I didn't know this was a thing before, but basically you can get these wet and make cool painterly dripping effects with these. And they're great quality. I just wasn't really used to using them, so I didn't use them as much as I probably could have. But if you like a water-soluble graphite, these are awesome. And I didn't know they came with the kit, so great little bonus. These are china markers, which you do end up using in the program, especially the white one. A little bit 
of the black one. But the white one's great because you can draw on a black canvas or a black piece of paper and get a really bright, white, vibrant effect. So that was nice that those came with. I also got a couple things that I didn't really use in this kit, just so you're aware. I didn't use these kneaded erasers because I actually have my own kneaded eraser that I really like and I've had for years. And if you don't know anything about kneaded erasers, these things last forever. So I just didn't feel the need to open these because I already have this one that I really, really like. So if you don't have kneaded erasers, those come with. And the other thing I didn't really use was these palette knives that came with. They're plastic palette knives. And I just didn't end up opening them at all because once again, I have my own metal palette knives that I like better. So these are good to get you started if you have no palette knives. Otherwise, I prefer a metal palette knife. So I don't know, I might just donate these. And then you also are given these different mediums and you got the refined linseed oil, which I ended up using a lot of, you can tell. And this is good because it slows down the drying time. And there are a couple of techniques in the oil and drawing section where you need this to slow down the drying time. So you can actually perform the different techniques of subtracting paint out. You want the paint to stay wet so you can actually pull the paint back up for this specific technique. So this is great. You can also buy this in any art store if you ended up not getting the kit. This is cold wax medium, which is once again used for different techniques in the program. I didn't use much of it, but it is good to have just so you can try it out and see if it's something you like using. It just basically makes your oil paint a little thicker so you can end up getting some really cool textures. And also I got this little Milan mastery bag. Like it's, it's pretty cute. I like it just cause you know, you get your little, your swag, your merch. Didn't really end up using it, but it's cute. So now I'm gonna mention some things that aren't in the kit that you probably will want or need along the way. You're really gonna actually need some paint thinner. And they do mention that this is not included in the kit. This is necessary for oil painting, but I think they don't wanna deal with shipping this because it's actually, it can be really dangerous, um, pretty flammable, and they probably wouldn't want it leaking and shipping. So this is something you can buy literally anywhere, Walmart, any art supply store, paint thinner, very important. This is how you clean your brushes. This is how you thin out paint. You're gonna need this. It's only about $10 for a container this size. And actually you do need this as well. This is Galkid or you know, you'll need something like it, Galkid Light or even Liquin. These are oil painting mediums. These are things that will thin out your paint um, that are different than paint thinner that will help you get different effects in the painting. You'll need it for glazing or fine details or even just to spread the paint out in wide surfaces. These are important. You're gonna need this and any one of these and they're not included in the kit, unfortunately. But also they're like eight or $10 a bottle for any one of these and it's worth it. I've pretty much almost used this whole bottle of Gal Kid in the first couple months of the painting program and I love it. Another thing you might want is some varnish. This is used to seal in your oil paintings after you finish them. It brings back the vibrancy of the oil paint, which is really cool and fun and shiny. It also protects your paintings in the future after you sell them from dust or sunlight and customers will want you to have that finish on there. That way their paintings are protected. Another thing you might want, um, workable fixative. This is what you spray onto your charcoal or drawing paintings drawing paintings, <laughs> charcoals, tra charcoal drawings or drawings. Just this will seal in your, your graphite and your charcoal. It's really helpful. And also if you're doing an underdrawing for a painting, this will seal in your drawing before you add paint on top so that the you know drawing doesn't start to get smeared once you start painting on it. All right, <laughs> other things that aren't included in the kit. You're gonna want a spray bottle like this. It has alcohol in it. This is used to clean your palette. Very important, not necessary, but does help clean up your palette. Another thing, speaking of palettes, you are gonna want to get a glass palette like this. They do recommend it in the program. I got this one at Walmart. It's just a cheap old frame, and I just turned around the paper inside, and it's a white paper in the background. That way you have plenty of room to mix your paints on. Another thing, of course, you're gonna need canvases to paint on. I get these ones from Michaels. You know, you can get five packs of five for like, 10, $15, different sizes, different shapes, everything you might need. The last thing that's really good to have is gonna be this giant easel. They teach you how to make this easel in the orientation period of the mastery program. It's pretty easy to make as long as you have a uh, drill and 
screws but you can buy all that stuff at Home Depot and you can also make it half the size of the one I have so you could just do four by four instead of the four by eight foot that I have that's taking up an entire wall of my studio but this is really important because you want enough space to paint on you want to be able to stand and paint so even if you don't have a big easel like this you're going to need an easel where you can at least stand up and paint because that's how Ellie and Demetra recommend that you paint so that you're loose and free-flowing if you want to be able to use your whole arm to paint or draw and so you need an easel that you can stand up at. I recommend this because it's one of the cheaper ways to build an easel. This probably cost me about $30 and it's massive, whereas you end up spending maybe $50 to $100 on one of those nicer easels that you can only fit one painting on. And overall, is this kit worth it? My answer is yes. I 100% think that this kit, the full mastery kit, is worth it. Yes, there's some things I didn't use in the kit. Yes, there are things that you need outside of the kit. So you are spending a good amount of money, but this kit really does get you started. And I think it does that at a very reasonable price. Oil paints are really, really expensive. So if you're trying to buy all these different oil paints on your own from an art store or online, it's gonna end up costing you right around the same price, if not more, because you know Milan, the Institute themselves, they also have a physical store. So they get these, products at a reasonable price and then they sell them to us at that reasonable price whereas these stores aren't giving you that same deal slash discount you know if you need to get started with that essentials kit if it's more in your budget to do the essentials kit i would say do that the quality is definitely there right so you're getting good quality oil paints and good quality drawing supplies from milan whereas you know if you go out and buy it you might not be getting the same quality and it just it's just nice when you start the program to already have all the supplies you need packaged in a nice little box that comes right to your house you don't have to spend the time scavenging out at the art store to find everything you need and maybe end up missing something on the list and you know you're ready to start the second week of the program and oh wait i forgot to grab this certain supply that i needed so i think you know quality convenience and price is all there so it really is worth getting the kit unless you maybe already have most of the supplies in the kit if you already have most of the oil paints that you need or most of the drawing size supplies that you need then maybe it's not worth getting the kit and you just go out and fill in the other things that you need to get so in my opinion in my circumstance it was better to buy the kit and i'm glad that i did because the entire program I just was flying through it. I was like, oh, I need this supply. Oh, I have that in this drawer. Let's get going. And that was really, really convenient for me. And the mastery kit was within my budget. So I did just go ahead and buy that. I hope that helped you decide whether this kit is right for you or not. Definitely, if you're thinking about doing the mastery program and you're not sure whether it is for you or not, I do have a review of the first section of the program posted on my channel that you can check out. I tell you about whether the program is worth it or not, depending on you as an artist, and give my full opinion on the first section of the program. That is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.